competition often fails when there are not enough competitors, which is the case in a monopoly and an oligopoly. A monopoly is a market that is controlled by one company, whereas an oligopoly is a market controlled by a few companies. When Netflix just started, they were a monopolist because they were the only company that controlled the streaming market. But by now, also Amazon Prime and Disney Plus have entered the market, and thus it has become an oligopoly. When there is a lack of competition, companies can abuse their monopoly power to increase prices, decrease quality, and exploit their workers. There are multiple reasons why markets tend toward monopolies. You can use these in debates to explain why competition often fails. The first reason is called economies of scale. The more you produce of something, the lower the costs per unit to produce it. To take a very intuitive example, if I want to sell croissants and I bake them in my home oven, I cannot bake that many croissants per hour. But if I were to work in a professional bakery where there is a professional oven, in the same hour I can bake many more croissants. So clearly it's a lot cheaper to bake croissants there. We all know that economies of scale are true. It's cheaper to buy in bulk. If I'm an enormous supermarket and I'm gonna buy hundreds of thousands of liters of milk from a farmer, I'm gonna get a better deal per liter than a smaller supermarket that might only buy a few hundred liters. So because larger companies are able to produce their products at a lower cost per unit, they're able to outcompete smaller companies because they can offer a lower price while still making a profit. This means that economies of scale make that markets tend toward monopolies. The second reason is called network effects. Network effects occur when it becomes more attractive for consumers to use a certain product or platform when there are more other users. Let's say that I want to take a cab to work and I'm debating whether to use Uber or Lyft. Now, if I know that there are more drivers on Uber, then I'm more likely to choose Uber because there's a greater probability that there is a driver near to me. And for the exact same reason, if I'm a driver, I'm also going to choose Uber because there's a greater probability that there is a user waiting to use my cab near to me. Because of this self-reinforcing cycle, Uber is going to outcompete Lyft, thereby creating a monopoly. The third and last reason why markets tend toward monopolies is about natural selection. Let's say that we start with a situation with perfect competition. Let's say that there's a hundred supermarkets in a certain town. Now, out of pure random chance, some supermarkets are gonna make more profit than others. And those who make more profit are gonna reinvest their profit, thereby becoming more efficient and increasing the quality of their products. This means the big supermarkets are going to outcompete the smaller ones who didn't have as many profits to reinvest. And also this means they're able to buy up the other supermarkets. So by eating the smaller fish, the bigger fish get even bigger. And we've seen this happen in the real world. At the start of the 20th century, all over the world, there were small supermarkets and grocers in all towns. But now these industries are dominated by very large companies like Walmart and Tesco. So through a form of survival of the fittest, markets tend toward monopolies.